When it comes to Earth's orbit, scientists are saying that cosmic clutter, as it's known, is getting worse. Space trash, broken satellites, or leftovers from rocket boosters, as well as junk from the space station, that's all a growing problem, they say. NASA estimates about 100 million pieces of space junk are hovering over our heads as we speak. On Monday, NASA confirmed that this piece of space junk, which re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and came crashing into a home in Florida last month, was trash from the International Space Station. Joining, now, joining me now is Terry Vertz, former NASA astronaut and a retired U.S. Air Force colonel. Colonel, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Isn't the expectation that this trash is just going to burn up upon re-entry so that it doesn't hurt anyone? Well, that's the hope, and NASA had done analysis on this piece uh, that they thought it would burn up. But if you look at it, I remember seeing it. It's basically the size of an SUV. So I remember thinking, wow, that's a pretty big thing. Uh, I bet you parts of it will will make it through. And a lot of space debris does make it down to Earth. Usually it ends up in the mountains or usually it's in the ocean. And so um, this one was just so big. And unfortunately, it landed in a house in Naples, Florida. So... I, th I, th I think that the, the, the common sense, uh, the conventional wisdom was that most of this stuff just does, does burn up. Are you saying that that is not normally the, the case? Why is the best way then of getting rid of this trash to, to throw it overboard if so much of it gets through? Well, the best way is not, and NASA's plan was not to do that, but there was a Russian Soyuz uh, explosion a few years ago, and that really, uh, there was a snowball effect on the schedule, and so this giant battery, like I said, the size of an SUV, was supposed to come back on one of our cargo ships. And because the schedule got reworked, it was like the odd man out. So they didn't have anything to do with it. So they released it after analyzing, hoping that it would uh, not make it back to Earth. And you know what? Luckily, knock on wood, it didn't hurt anybody, but it did unfortunately go through uh, the roof of that house. So if you're NASA or, or another space program, even a, a private space program, I imagine it's, it's in all their interests to try to get this stuff um, cleaned up, essentially. So how do you go about cleaning up 100 million pieces of, uh, of space trash? Well, unfortunately, nobody's come up with that solution. If you, <coughs> excuse me, if you could come up with that solution, that would be a pretty good business model. These pieces are going many miles per second. Um, they're all going in different directions. It's, it's a tough problem. The, the, what, what we're doing is we're just trying to avoid it. So when I was on the space station as commander in 2015, we actually had to maneuver to avoid some debris that the Chinese had created. They did a military demonstration, they exploded a satellite, and that debris still causes the space station to maneuver usually once or twice a year. So uh, military explosions in space are a really, really bad idea because that debris will last for years or sometimes centuries if it's high enough. Um, and the, the, the only thing you can really do is track it and maneuver to avoid it. 